EDD said that it was a Bank of America issue. And Bank of America said that it was an EDD issue. And getting the runaround on EDD debit card hacks. As KPIX5 first exposed in the fall, fraudsters are stealing thousands of dollars in unemployment benefits. But Bank of America is denying victims' claims. Kenny Choi joins us live with the details in a KPIX5 original report. Kenny? Liz, for the first time since we started reporting on this issue, we have obtained emails between Bank of America and EDD that suggest that the two are not on the same page at times when it comes to fighting fraud. And now we're learning that in efforts to stop it, it's all backfiring on victims. In the last week, I've taken about 250 He's an employment development department call center employee who reached out to KPIX after seeing our reports about brazen hacks of EDD debit cards. We exposed how hackers are stealing identities of EDD claimants on the dark web, duplicating their cards and security pins, then stealing thousands of dollars in cash at ATMs far away from where the victims live. And have claimants that have had their debit cards used in New York City, Las Vegas. Making matters even worse, for victims, he says Bank of America is now freezing the hacked accounts. But the bank will not give them the funds they still have on that debit card. He says it's a repeat of what he saw happening this past fall when at EDD's request, Bank of America froze 345,000 debit card accounts because of suspected fraud. I call EDD. Turns out there was collateral damage then as well to potentially hundreds of thousands of innocent people like Gonzalo Arceo. And I got a charge for $1,000 on an ATM like far, far away from me. He says someone hacked his EDD debit card in September and right after that his account was frozen. All the money that I had coming from unemployment, over $8,000 is there. It's money he desperately needs to care for his disabled daughter. EDD eventually confirmed his identity and is now sending him paper checks. But three months later, Bank of America still won't unlock his funds, and he's not alone. Most people are still locked out of the accounts. Publicly, Bank of America and EDD are saying that they are working together to solve what they admit is at least a $2 billion fraud problem involving these debit cards. But we've obtained internal emails showing that there's tension between the two. In mid-October, EDD's former director Sharon Hilliard writes to Bank of America's regional executive Bobby Chestnut, it is imperative that we meet right away. It appears a number of the issues being discussed between EDD and B of A have not been resolved. Chestnut writes back, can we discuss? My plan is to schedule a business meeting tomorrow. Hilliard responds, is there a reason for the delay? EDD is ready now. Every minute we wait, we have people impacted by lack of access to their funds. At issue, according to the emails, the 345,000 debit card accounts that EDD suspected were fraudulent and asked the bank to freeze in September. EDD wants B of A to unfreeze 256,000 of them that it now believes are legitimate. But the bank in mid-October had only unfrozen 51,000, while at the same time initiating another 58,000 freezes of its own without consulting EDD. In this email, EDD's lead counsel, Carol Veen, writes, to the extent that EDD has asked you to unfreeze accounts or has not asked you to freeze an account, Bank of America is acting without EDD's authorization. Bank of America's regional executive, Bobby Chestnut, pushes back, saying, as EDD is well aware, the cardholder agreement gives the bank the specific right to freeze if we suspect irregular, unauthorized, or unlawful activities may be involved. And he gives one stark example of the rampant fraud at ATMs. The cards in question were used at a Bank of America ATM between midnight and 2 a.m. on October 11th when a single individual captured on clear color videotape accessed the ATM with a stack of EDD prepaid cards in hand and fed them into the terminal one after the other until he managed to withdraw over $35,000. It's how that... Criminal syndicate is working the, the system. This EDD employee is not surprised. They are just going with multiple debit cards, you know, and uh, was drawing money every day, all day. That's the job. It's just ridiculous. It's just something that that, that no one gives you an answer, a straight answer. Like you know what? This is what's going on. This is what we're going to do. Nothing. Zero. Zero answers. 
And we have some good news to report. Soon after submitting Gonzalo's name to the Bank of America, the bank unfroze his account, which had $8,000 in it. He's now one of more than 20 people who have either had their accounts credited and refunded with cash or gotten their accounts unfrozen. But unfortunately, there are countless others who are still waiting for their cases to be resolved. It's, Liz? It's just infuriating to see that, Kenny. You reported last week EDD recently suspended payments on 1.4 million accounts. How does this all tie into that? So right before New Year's, mm -hmm. uh, before uh, 2021, EDD started issuing and started freezing accounts. They implemented some new anti-fraud uh, uh, safety measures, and that red flagged then more than 3 million accounts. So EDD is now asking 1.4 million claimants to re-verify their identities, but they're doing that in phases. They're sending out information and specific links to ID.me through phases, and so that's problematic because then people are waiting. And then to add to all the confusion, EDD is telling claimants that if they did not receive that type of notification to re verify their identities and they're still having problems with their accounts they're telling them to contact bank of america oh. instead of edd it's not their issue oh i just keep getting this run around it is so frustrating for them all right kenny thank you so much for this reporting